Hi guys, I'm Sianu Chaloda. We are back with the MCQs of chapter number one, but from Board of Studies portal. All the questions from the module have already been solved in a detailed manner, freely available on our YouTube channel. It is arranged in a playlist form. There is a separate uh, playlist for each and every chapter. There is a consolidated uh, playlist for all the chapters also, the link of which we'll be getting towards the end of this video and also in the description. Uh, I am trying to cover everything. So therefore, one subject of yours becomes a piece of cake and that is my only aim. In case you want to join our complete course of this subject, then the details are there in the description and also just one last request. In case you want to remain updated with this subject, then join our telegram channel and the group. The link is there in the description. Without wasting time, let's continue with the question for today. A business model should contain which of the three components out of those stated below? Customer value proposition, second profit formula, third impact factor, fourth key resources and processes. Just let me discuss this. Customer value proposition. What do you have for the customer? You are launching a product or a service for whom for the customer. So therefore, whatever you do should match with the needs of the customer of the customer. This is called as value proposition. Value proposition means what do you have in store for the customer? Second profit formula that how you are going to be getting the profit that should be the net of revenue minus your cost. So therefore that is one thing. Then third impact factor how you will create an impact that depends upon your strategies. Key resources and processes. What are your key resources and your processes? It could be your staff. It could be the technology that you all have patented. What are the processes that will be uh, adopted for making the products up and so on. So a business model. Basically a business model is how your business will ultimately become successful or what are the components of your business. Okay. Uh, bring me the four options please at least. So therefore four options are one, two and three only. Then one, two and four only. Then one, three and four only. Lastly, two, three and four only. Now one small thing. Now there have been many business models that have been created. Many, many, many business models and there are a lot of authors for it. But might be the first one and something that was most popular was created by Johnson. He told that a business model should be having three things, at least three things. That is customer value proposition. Second is profit formula. Third key resources and processes. Impact factor is never there. See impact factor always depends upon your strategies and strategies are not revealed to everybody. They are there for internal circulation only. That is how a company wants to be achieving the aim that is never ever told actually as part of the business model. Now this model uh, later on was uh, made bigger by Osterwald and uh, that thing took the shape of this. In our earlier MCQs also we all have discussed this thing. This comprises of around nine parts. Okay, but nowhere in these nine parts also Osterwald told that we are going to be having impact factor. So impact factor is never ever a part of business model canvas. So the parts that you all see over here is value proposition four on the left, four on the right of that. On left hand side, you have your internal things that is key partners, key activities, key resources, cost structure. On right hand side, you all have your customer relationship, customer segments and channels and the revenue streams. So the difference of the revenue streams and the cost structure that is below will start to be giving you all the profit. Apart from that key resources and processes you all can see that is part of your business model canvas. So out of all the options, I think so. Impact factor is not part of the answer. So impact factor, I guess, was a third one. So therefore, your answer should be one, two and four. So one, two and four comes as part of option number two. So option number two should be the correct answer. I'll see you all next time. 